Hi all, this is Abhishek. I work as a technical architect with a leading organization. I am an expert in Microsoft.NET, Azure Platform as a Service Cloud, Artificial Intelligence, Intelligent Automation and Machine Learning. And today I will talk about how to cleanse data using Azure Machine Learning Studio. This is a big topic, so we will divide it into two parts and we will look at it. So what are the basic data cleansing operations that are performed on a machine learning data? So basically we try to handle the missing values. There can be a lot of missing values in the data set and these missing values can give us uh, misleading results. There might be duplicate values and at times they create a problem and we need to handle them as well. We need to weed out outliers and outliers are quite dangerous for the data. They are those data in the data set that are placed far away abnormally from the normal data set in the sample. Let us try to understand what outliers are with an example. So in this graph, we have salary in the y axis and age in the x axis. And what we can see is person between 20 to 25 years of age, they draw a salary something between 10,000 to say like it's 13,000 person between 25 to 30 years of age draw a salary something around 14,000 and so on and this is a normal trend that we observe but specifically this data point is something abnormal it is an exceptional case when a person is between the age of 20 to 25 is drawing a salary of something around uh, say like 55,000 and it is quite far located from the normal trend and if we consider this data point in our machine learning uh, activity then we might get a misleading model so this has to be weeded out and this exceptional case should not be considered specifically this data point can be considered as an outlier in the whole data set and this has to be weeded out and should not be considered for machine learning operations okay data cleansing activity is highly important because it is very necessary to produce a quality data sample input have a quality data sample input ready using which we can produce a quality and accurate machine learning output or rather we can build a accurate machine learning model so we need to have a high quality data sample and that should be should not have any missing values duplicate values any outliers or any such data that can be misleading okay so what are the different modules that are available in machine learning studio so they are like we have a clean missing data module we have remove, remove duplicate rows module we have clip values we have different kind of uh, filters we have smoke and this is not the only list in the azure machine learning studio we can also import uh, r scripts into our azure machine learning studio and can do cleansing operation using those r scripts as well and in this module we will see how to handle or cleanse data using clean missing data and remove duplicate rows uh, modules and the rest of the items like uh, clip values, filters and smart, we will try to explore them in the next video. Okay. So let me get into the Azure Machine Learning Studio. I have already logged into the Azure Machine Learning Studio. Let me create a new experiment, a blank one. Uh, let me try to check which data set I can use from the sample data set. Mm, we can pick this uh, flight delay data and let us try to visualize the data set. Before cleansing the data we need to visualize the data and check like uh, whether uh, like uh, we are having any missing values or not in the relevant columns like those columns which are really going to impact the machine learning activity. There is no point in cleaning a column data like uh, which has no role in predicting uh, any trends or anything during the machine learning activity. So it is highly important that we should only cleanse those data which do have an impact on machine learning activity. 
so let's check this depth delay column and here we can see in this column we have 27,444 missing values. So now let us try to clean these uh, missing values. Okay. Let me find the clean missing data module. Here it is. Let me drag it to the workspace. Let me provide the connector. And here, like, uh, let me select the column that I want to clean. I don't want to clean all the columns as I said that only we need to pick up the relevant columns. Let me remove it and let me select depth delay that is departure delay and select it. Okay, all good till here. Now we see something here like missing minimum missing value ratio and maximum missing value ratio. For example, I am setting it as 0.2 and maximum missing value ratio i'm setting it as say like 0.9 so what this signifies is any data set that has a minimum of 20 percent of missing values like 20 percent of the total values are missing and up to 90 percent of missing values in the data set and it has maximum of 90 percent of the missing data in the data set then only the cleaning operation will happen. That is, if the missing values in the data set is in, falls in the range of 20% to 90%, then only the cleaning operation will happen. Okay, let's revert it back to its uh, normal values, like the default ones. Let us see what are the different uh, cleaning mode we have. We have replace using mice. In this option, like it uses uh, the statistical mice method to oh, pre-populate or pre-calculate a value and replace it in the place of uh, the missing value. We can substitute a default value using the custom substitution value. We can replace the missing value with the mean or median or mode. We can choose to remove the entire row. We can choose to remove the entire column. So what it means is if you are selecting remove entire row, then the entire row, like uh, for example, in the sixth row, we have a missing data. So the entire row that has the missing data, data will get removed. In the same way, if we are having a missing data in say like in a particular column, so the column that is having that missing data will entirely get removed. Also, we can use the probabilistic PCA method like uh, to make the replacements. And uh, let us select uh, for our example like uh, with a custom substitution value and let's replace the missing data with the value 2. There is one more option generate missing value indicator column. So, what it means is if I check this an additional column will get added in the data set and that will uh, like uh, display a flag true or false true gets displayed when the uh, missing value has been replaced and false is uh, displayed when there has been no missing value replacement okay so now let's run this data set It's taking a while, so let's be patient. Okay, so now let's visualize the data set. And uh, let me go to the depth delay column because we have done replacements for this column. And I see here all the missing values have been replaced. Now let me come to this column. This column has been added to the data set and why we see this column out here is because so when we started running the experiment we had checked the checkbox that was generate missing value indicator column since we had checked it this column has been generated and what it signifies is for any of the record or any of the row 
for which there is a missing value and there has been some cleaning operation that has happened is indicated by a true value in this column if there has been no cleaning operation then it's a false so basically this column is like an indicator whether there was a missing value and some cleaning operations has been performed or not okay so in this histogram we can see there were very few missing values like around uh, one percent of the missing values that have been cleaned and uh, like uh, using this module we have acted on these uh, missing values okay now let's move to the next thing remove duplicate rows let's see that what it is uh, to check for the remove duplicate rows so let me use the breast cancer data data set let me find the remove duplicate rows here it is let me select it let me connect it as well now let me launch the column selector so basically we need to remove all the duplicate rows like uh, all the rows that have duplicate values for tumor size let me select it so we have selected a call a column that is tumor size and we will remove all duplicate values all rows that has duplicate values for tumor size okay so let's visualize the data set uh, if we see the tumor size column we see there are 10 unique values but we are having 683 rows mark here we have 683 rows out of which there are 10 unique values for tumor size now let us remove the all the rows that are that has a duplicate value for the tumor size okay now what this checkbox says is so if you are checking this checkbox written first duplicate uh, row then what it will do is it will return the original row and it will weed out all the duplicate rows for that value and if i uncheck this then it will weed out the original row and will return one of the duplicate rows okay now let's run it now it's done so let's visualize and uh, let me go to the tumor size again now i can see i have 10 rows and if you correctly remember like in the previous visualization of the data set we saw that there were 10 unique values and after we use the remove duplicate rows module and run the experiment we ended up in having just 10 rows that is it has removed all the rows that are duplicate values and it has retained just 10 rows that have unique values for the tumor size okay so this is what i had planned for this session today and hope you liked it stay tuned we'll see more of cleansing operations in the upcoming videos so let's meet in the next video thanks being patient thanks for seeing this video